Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Hi, I'm Saus, an IT specialist and a proud member of the web development team. If you've ever wondered how hackers find vulnerabilities in Android apps, or just wanted to know how to secure your own apps better, this video is for you. But don't worry, we're not getting too deep into the weeds here. Just a casual stroll through some important concepts and tools that can help you out. So let's get into it. Android pen testing is all about testing the security of Android apps. The goal is simple. Find weaknesses before the hackers do. We're looking for anything that can be exploited, like holes in the code, poor encryption, or a completely unsecured API. Pen testing involves two main approaches, static analysis and dynamic analysis. Static analysis is like checking the blueprint of a house before you start living in it. You're looking at the app's code and configuration without actually running it. Dynamic analysis is where things get more fun. It's like actually running the house, seeing how it behaves, and finding out if things fall apart when the lights come on. All right, so to get started, you need a testing environment. No, you don't have to start by hacking your own phone. There are better ways to go about this. First, let's talk emulators. These are virtual devices where you can run Android apps for testing. You've got options like Genymotion, QMU, Memu, and Nox Player. Personally, I'd recommend Memu or Nox Player. They're super easy to set up and work pretty smoothly. To install an app, you can either get it straight from the Play Store if it's there, or if you've got an APK file, just drag and drop it into the emulator. If you like using commands, there's always ADB, Android Debug Bridge, a tool that helps you manage your Android devices or emulators via the command line. Tool commands like ADB devices list all connected devices. ADB install file name .apk installs the APK, and ADB pull slash path lets you copy files off your device. If you really want to get deep into it, you can even extract the APK from a device using ADB shell PM list packages, and then pulling the APK with ADB pull slash data slash app slash package dash name slash base dot APK. Easy stuff, right? Now let's talk static analysis. This is where you're looking at the app's code. If you've got the APK, you're halfway there. First, you need to decompile it. That means turning the app's code into something readable. Tools like Dex2Jar convert Dex files to Java, or you can just use Jadex to decompile the APK directly into Java code. What are you looking for in the code? First up, cryptography. You want to make sure the app isn't using weak encryption or worse, hard-coded keys. Those are like leaving your front door wide open. Next, obfuscation. Check for any code obfuscation. This is a technique to hide malicious code. Basically, it's a hacker trying to be sneaky, and you don't want that. API usage is another thing to check. Make sure they're not calling insecure APIs. We all know how bad things can go when you forget to lock the back door. Sensitive data is another biggie. Look out for any hard-coded credentials, like passwords or tokens. That's like storing your password under your keyboard. Finally, external libraries. Sometimes developers use third-party libraries, which can have known vulnerabilities. Just check that they're not using outdated or untrusted ones. Also, don't forget about the manifest file. It's the app's blueprint. You'll want to check for any risky permissions or expose components that shouldn't be public. Next up, dynamic analysis. This is where the fun really begins. Here, we're looking at how the app behaves while it's running. You'll want to set up a proxy. Burp Suite is a great tool for this. It lets you intercept traffic between the Android device and the server which is super handy when you want to see exactly what data is being exchanged. To make that work, you'll need to set your proxy on the device, install Burp's CA certificate, and voila, you're all set to catch traffic. Yes, even HTTPS traffic. Let's talk data storage. Apps store a lot of data, sometimes in places they shouldn't. With ADB, you can access app directories, databases, and shared preferences. You can find app data in places like slash data slash data slash app, or if you want to get into databases, head over to slash data slash data slash app slash databases and use Sklite 3 to read those. For those of you serious about diving deeper into Android pen testing, there are some solid open source frameworks out there. They can help automate some parts of the process and give you a leg up. Plus, don't forget to check out other resources for more info on setting up your testing environment and analyzing apps. Exploring APK files, Think of APK files as locked treasure chests. Tools like AppTool and Dex2Jar are your keys to open them. For more guidance on APK analysis, check out APK Tool official site. 
Jadex on GitHub for decompiling APKs into readable Java code. Before you dive into the technical stuff, brush up on some programming. Java or Kotlin, resources like Udemy or Code Academy offer great courses. Python, platforms like RealPython or W3Schools can get you started. To start testing, you need a secure setup. And no, you don't have to risk your own phone. Emulators like Genemotion Android, Studio Emulator or Nox Player are perfect for creating a virtual Android device, safe and simple. You can learn how to set up these emulators on platforms like Genemotion for a high-performance Android emulator, Android Developers Site for the official Android Studio emulator tutorial. ADB is like a remote control for your Android device. Use it to install apps, explore files and test commands. ADB devices. List all connected devices. ADB install app.apk- Install an APK on your device. You can find an in-depth guide on ADB setup and usage from the official Android developer's site. If you're serious about ethical hacking, Kali Linux is your go-to operating system. It's packed with pre-installed tools like Metasploit, Apk Tool, and Burp Suite, your ultimate testing toolkit. For a complete Kali Linux tutorial, check out the Kali Linux official documentation and online courses at Hack the Box Academy. Time to take a closer look at what's inside an app. Decompile the APK using tools like Jadex, which turns app code into something readable. Check out Jadex on GitHub. App Tool is another great option for modifying or recompiling APK files. Visit App Tool Official for more info. Now analyze the code. Look out for hard-coded credentials. Things like API keys or passwords shouldn't be stored in plain sight. Also, watch for weak permissions that leave the app exposed and unencrypted data. Anything sensitive should be encrypted always. For tutorials on reverse engineering and APK analysis, visit Pentester Academy and try HackMe Android Pentesting Lab. This is where the real action begins. Dynamic analysis. Think of this as testing the app in real time while it's running. Tools like Burp Suite and OWASP Zap can intercept and analyze app traffic. To set up Burp Suite for Android, check out Port Swigger's Burp Suite setup guide. Data storage analysis. Apps often store sensitive data locally, sometimes in places they shouldn't. Use ADB to navigate storage and check app directories under slash data slash data slash and databases using SKULite 3. You can learn more about data analysis with SKULite at the SKULite tutorial by Guru99. Start small with open source apps designed for learning, like DVIA, Damn Vulnerable Android App, and Insecure Shop. Here's your starter kit, Jadex for decompiling APKs, App Tool for modifying files, Burp Suite to analyze network traffic, Frida for dynamic instrumentation and MobiSF, an automated mobile security framework. Check out their official sites and GitHub pages for more details. Pen testing is all about finding vulnerabilities before someone else does. And trust me, it's as rewarding as it is fascinating. If you're serious about learning more, I've got a growing cybersecurity community on my website. Courses, quizzes, a vibrant Discord server. It's all there to help you sharpen your skills. So, what are you waiting for? Head over, sign up, and let's start cracking the code together. Got questions or suggestions for future topics? Drop a comment below. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video.